Okay, so first of all, my hairdresser cut my hair too short, so now I look like this guy. I even have the sunglasses to go with it, so uh, do I look like a taxi driver? Anyway. All right, I'll explain how beef fixed my depression, all right? So first of all, my background. Uh, when I was probably 19 was the first time I ever had depression. It wasn't very serious the first time around. But then every two years or so, I would get an episode of depression, all right? And I've had depression for over 20 years. So uh, after like the second or third episode, I decided to go to see a psychiatrist and I was prescribed uh, antidepressants. Now, most antidepressants are SSRI antidepressants, which means they're ser selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, right? So basically what happens is uh, it stops the uh, serotonin uh, in between the synapse of the neurons from being reabsorbed into um, the neuron. And serotonin is the neurotransmitter uh, responsible for, in layman terms, uh, feeling content and happy, right? So it's kind of like the happy serotonin. And if somebody has too little serotonin, then they're going to end up being depressed. And uh, a lot of people who are depressed might have triggers for their depression. Maybe they had a traumatic experience when they were a kid. Maybe their parents didn't uh, love them enough, or they had a very uh, tr uh, stressful period later on in life. So there's a trigger for depression, but the fact that depression keeps coming back has a lot of to do with this low serotonin level. Okay, so in my uh, 20 plus years of having depression, I, it will come back every two years or so, and then I'll go and see a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist will give me antidepressants, which will, after a while, make my situation better. But then I will get better, and then the psychiatrist will take me off the medication again, and then after uh, a year or so, I would end up getting depressed again. And the reason for that is because my body never made more serotonin, okay? The antidepressant was just rationing the amount of serotonin that I had existing, which is very low. It wasn't actually helping my body make more serotonin, all right? So basically, uh, a lot of people don't realize is that when they go and see the doctor uh, for chronic illnesses, okay, which is like illnesses which have lasted for over a year, and those include things like diabetes or cardiovascular disease or dementia, uh, arthritis, stuff like that, uh, the doctor is naturally prescribing medication which is not fixing the problem, okay? It is just covering up the symptom of the problem, okay? So, which is why in medicine, they're very um, careful not to use the word cure somebody from a disease, okay? They just treat the disease because in a way, they're making the symptom go away, but the underlying issue is not actually uh, fixed, all right? So it's kind of like putting Band-Aid on, on a, a wound, but the wound is still there. And, uh, and I'm not making this up, all right? I double-checked this with a friend of mine who's been a doctor for over 20 years. Uh, he told me basically they don't get educated on how to do preventive medicine and to treat the underlying causes of the disease only to memorize basically thousands of drugs and their side effects and how to treat the symptoms of the disease um, after diagnosing the symptoms. And if you look up um, a YouTube video posted by this guy, okay, uh, he was uh, an MIT uh, educated neurosurgeon, so very, very complex type of surgery. And, uh, and I'm going to put the video in the description uh, of this video, but you can go look it up. Like, I, I think the title is, uh, I was an MIT educated neurosurgeon, now I am unemployed. Uh, it has over 11 million views by now, and it's only been up for like a couple of months. And the doctor basically said he quit his uh, practice after uh, many, many years um, because he realized he wasn't actually fixing the patients, okay? So he will operate on the patients, but then they'll come back after a while um, and need more surgery. Um, and the analogy he gave is basically um, 
Imagine your house has a leak on the roof and the water is coming in and it's creating mold inside the house because it's getting really wet and humid. But what the doctors do is effectively they're just getting rid of the mold. Okay, so that's like giving medication to treat the symptoms of the disease, but they're actually not fixing the leak in the roof, which is fixing the underlying problem. Okay, and uh, to fix the underlying problem will mean that basically he will not get to operate on his patients and he will make less money. Okay, so he had uh, a huge um, conflict of interest in his mind and he decided to go into the mountain for a couple of months to basically uh, assess what he wanted to do in life. And that is kind of a very accurate description of um, what modern, modern medicine has evolved into, right? So uh, most chronic diseases are caused by either not enough sleep, stress, or a dietary problem, either a nutrient deficiency, okay, or eating the wrong type of stuff like a lot of sugar, okay, which completely messes up the body. And uh, in my case, okay, so this is to do with how beef fixed my depression. Um, if you Google folate uh, serotonin, you will find that folate, which is literally vitamin B9, uh, is a precursor, so it's a building material for serotonin, okay? So if a person eats a lot of folate, then their body will naturally make a lot more serotonin. Now, as I said before, somebody with depression basically has low serotonin levels, so all you have to do is eat a lot of beef and uh, your depression will get better because you make more serotonin. And I discovered this firsthand uh, a year ago when a friend of mine told me to go on what was called a carnivore diet, which is a pretty extreme sounding diet because it's all meat and eggs. Uh, but I was pretty sick, so I had nothing to lose. And I tried the diet. And I also uh, went on YouTube and searched uh, carnivore diet. And one of the first videos that popped up was uh, Jordan Peterson, who's a famous uh, psychologist. And he was on the Joe Rogan podcast and he talked about the carnival diet. So again, that video I'm gonna put in the description as well, but you can search for uh, Jordan Peterson, uh, Joe Rogan carnival diet. And basically, Jordan Peterson and his daughter, Michaela, had very, very serious uh, depression, and, um, and I had it too. I mean, after my 10th episode of depression, I was suicidal. I really didn't wanna live anymore because it's just, really traumatic experience, right? It's just like literally like being in hell. I mean, people who have never been depressed do not know how bad it is. Like 10 years ago, I was hit by a truck, okay? And I was in hospital for two weeks and it took me six months to recover. That is easier to deal with than depression, okay? Um, and Jordan Peterson and his daughter, Michaela, just tried out the carnival diet and they, their depression got better in about a month and so did mine, okay? So after a month of eating a lot of meats, I just felt so good that I took myself off my antidepressants and I didn't need them anymore. I just uh, felt great. Not only that I feel normal again, like baseline normal, which is what the antidepressants was making me, although even then I wasn't feeling like, like I was thriving or I was doing really great. I went from being depressed and barely doing okay on the meds to removing the meds and literally feeling amazing all the time. And uh, at the time, I didn't know what in the meats and the eggs was basically fixing my depression. But uh, later on, I did more research and I found out it was the folate, okay? So again, you can literally just Google this, folate, serotonin, it is on the internet. But most doctors won't, won't know about this, it. not even your psychologist, or sorry, your psychiatrist. But it doesn't mean your psychiatrist means you any harm. It's just that the medical system is designed in a way where they try to make as much profit as possible because it's driven by the pharma, pharmaceutical industry. Um, so they go down the route of medicating people rather than uh, pursuing um, uh, trying to get down to the root cause of the problem and preventing it in the first place, which is why the doctor said, 
like if he actually fixed the leak rather than getting rid of the mold every time it came back then he's going to run himself out of business and that doesn't mean your doctor means harm for you like doctors are literally trying to save people it's just that the system is broken if the medical system literally tried to prevent people having disease in the first place by educating them on what is the correct diet and um how to live life properly to prevent disease then uh there will be way less disease in this world. But the pharmaceutical industry will lose a huge amount of money if that happened, all right? And in the, uh, in the US, the healthcare industry is now $4.5 trillion, okay? So it is over five times the defense budget of the US, okay? And we're talking about the biggest military in the world. All those troops, all those tanks, uh, fighter jets, uh, those naval ships, all the tanks, everything, all the missiles. One year of spending on the healthcare in the US is more than five times the entire military of the US. Um, I'll, I'll give you a graphical uh, look at it. Um, the US uh, latest version of their air aircraft carrier, which is Gerald Ford uh, uh, version, um, uh, the 4.5 trillion can buy 350 of those aircraft carriers. And the US Naval Fleet only has 11 carriers. So they can build more than 30 times their entire aircraft carrier fleet based off the healthcare spending in the US. So there's a huge amount of money and there's a lot at stake for the pharmaceutical companies if people actually learnt uh, how to um, uh, treat themselves um, by eating correctly or sleeping enough or lowering their stress levels rather than relying on medicine when they do get sick. And, um, and it's not, it's not, this is not new, right? So if you Google the history of the ketogenic diet, okay, the ketogenic diet is basically a low carbohydrate diet, although it's not completely meat-based. It is over 100 years old. So doctors just over 100 years ago discovered that um, for children who had epilepsy, if they stop giving them carbohydrates, then the epilepsy just goes away, okay? And it was a very effective treatment. But then they phased it out because, uh, again, the pharmaceutical companies came in and uh, created uh, drugs for epilepsy. Um, so, and that makes more money. So uh, they stopped that treatment. But the problem is then the kids are on the drugs for epilepsy so as soon as they stop taking those drugs they get sick again okay and the same is true for autism and adhd okay so if your children have autism and adhd there's an easy fix for it as well the same as depression beef okay and there's the same reason folate vitamin b9 if you eat a lot of vitamin b9 then it will fix autism and ADHD. And if you do not believe me, again, Google folate autism, and then Google folate ADHD, and you will realize that when you're, if your child ate beef daily, they will automatically get rid of those problems, all right? It is on the internet. But your doctor will not know this because your doctor is trained to diagnose the symptoms of the disease and then to prescribe medication but not to find the underlying cause of the disease and doctors literally get no training on nutrition all right um, so do me a favor like the video and subscribe to the channel and do yourself a favor all right if you have depression which is a serious illness like i've had so i can relate to you it is so serious you have literally nothing to lose Go and eat some beef every day, okay? You can eat ground beef or eat a steak. I mean, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but literally it's gonna, for you, it's gonna be a steak a day keeps the doctor away because then you'll give yourself a lot of vitamin B9 and you have to get it from beef, the natural source. You cannot get it from uh, multivitamins because the vitamin B in the multivitamins is folic acid, okay? Uh, it's a synthetic form of vitamin B9, which your body, will have to methylate and convert into folate and a lot of people have a mutation in a gene called the mthfr gene and which means they are unable to methylate and convert a lot of nutrients into the actual substance that their body needs okay so if you just take 
uh, multivitamins with vitamin B9, it is not actually folate, it is folic acid, and it will not help, help you. So you need to eat beef every day, all right? So do me a favor, because depression is such a serious disease, and for this video to any of your friends or family who may have had depression, also to anyone whose children have autism or ADHD, and just try out eating beef daily, and then uh, come back to this video, go in the comment section and let me know if uh, your depression or uh, autism or ADHD gets better, all right? Okay, thanks.